In this video, we will discuss about an approach where they will use this oncolytic virus mediated ARK signaling pathway uh, disruptions that could attenuate the metastasis of the pancreatic cancer. We have already discussed about this oncolytic virus idea in one of our previous videos and in this uh, video they use this oncolytic virus along with this ERK uh, signaling pathways disruption of the ERK signaling pathways and that might lead to the reduce in the invasiveness of the pancreatic cancers so this is uh, the map what they have used in the oncolytic virus or map of the gene that they have used in the oncolytic virus so in this case we can see that uh, the gene is uh, tetracycline uh, driven HTTRP so this means that uh, this oncolytic virus can be uh, triggered uh, based on the doxycycline uh, dosage at the same time it will also have this wild type p53 so this uh, in, in most uh, in most or most of the pancreatic uh, patients it has been observed that there is a mutation in the p53 and because of this the normal functioning of the uh, tumor cells is not being able to normal functioning of the cells will not be able to perform within the uh, pancreatic tumors and one of the important function of this p53 is to decide whether the uh, damages within the uh, tumor cells the damages within any cells can be repaired or, or if it is uh, beyond the repair then p53 will trigger the apoptosis of the cells <coughs> so in this uh, oncolytic virus they they will also uh, trans they will also trans uh, they will also transduce this wild type 53 so that uh, whenever this wild type 53 is uh, translated within the uh, tumor cells then it can uh, perform the regular functions that is that is if the uh, repairs is beyond uh, if the damages are beyond the repair then it can trigger the apoptosis so this is uh, one of the uh, side functions of this oncolytic virus mediated approach the main function of this oncolytic virus mediated approach is to uh, disrupt this ERK12 signaling pathways so in the pancreatic tumor uh, in the pancreatic patients uh, that is pdac affected patients the cross mutations are very common that will trigger this mek uh, 1 by 2 pathway and that will lead to the phosphorylation and triggering of this erk12 pathway and uh, this uh, pathways has uh, more contributions towards this migration invasion that is it will helps the uh, tumor cells to migrate from one part of the uh, uh, one part of the body to another part and the function of this oncolytic virus uh, that contain the genes present in the oncolytic virus is to disrupt this ERK signaling pathways and for this they they use two different kind of uh, uh, two different kind of genes one uh, that is OPV702 another one is OPV301 the result of OPV301 is not much uh, a good uh, is, not, is less compared to the OPV702 and when they check uh, this oncolytic virus containing OPV702 in the mouse, the mouse model uh, which are treated with orthopedic, uh, uh, in which the tumors are injected orthopedically, uh, the they can see the uh, decrease in the tumor volumes in those uh, mouse models. So, all these uh, in vivo studies results also indicates that this oncolytic virus approach to oncolytic virus mediated approach to disrupt the CRK signaling pathways uh, would be helpful uh, would be helpful to reduce this uh, migration invasiveness of the pancreatic tumors since at present the, the detection of the pancreatic tumor at the early stage is uh, very difficult uh, and most of the cases of the pancreatic tumors are detected at the uh, uh, later stage that is at, 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 that is at either uh, third stage or uh, uh, at the later stage and at that point of time the probability of the pancreatic tumors to reach at the metastatic stage is very high so this approach can be used uh, to reduce uh, to reduce the uh, migration invasiveness migration invasiveness on those pancreatic tumors uh, affected patients and thereby uh, increasing thereby increasing uh, the time uh, thereby increasing the time uh, that thereby increasing the time for uh, tumor development and that will give uh, more time for the doctors uh, for to in order to diagnose those in order to diagnose those patients um, so i hope you got a basic idea about how this oncolytic uh, mediated approach how this oncolytic mediated AR, ARK signaling pathway disruptions could lead to the decrease in the invasiveness of the pancreatic cancers 
uh, if you need to understand more about this onclitic virus approach you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description so that's all for this video thank you for your time